welcome back to Technical Tuesdays. Last week we talked about multi-point blower door testing and the slope that you can generate as you do that type of test. Uh, that slope is also called the pressure exponent, uh, as you'll see it in the Fantastic software. Uh, in our cloud, it's just called the slope. Uh, but one thing that number can tell you, uh, what it does is it falls between somewhere between 0.5 and 1.0. The closer it is to 0.5, the more of a wide open hole that you have, the closer it is to 1.0, uh, the closer that building is gonna have to a bunch of small holes. Uh, so that's a good way to tell how that building is leaking by looking at that number. And again, you have to do a multi-point test in order to get that. Otherwise, it just assumes that it's 0.65. As an example here, I ran a blower door test on my house doing a multi-point test. And I just did a regular test uh, and we can see uh, what that pressure exponent is here. Uh, but just to show you how it can reduce if you have a wide open hole, I just popped the window open, did it again, and we can see uh, that slope or pressure exponent drop down to 0.49. Uh, so that's basically how it works. Uh, some other things that that number can tell you is uh, some possible issues with the test. So uh, maybe if you're manually inputting some pressures in Fantastic, maybe you accidentally put uh, a CFM flow and a pressure line or uh, as you're running the test, uh, that number can show, hey, maybe a door came open as the test was running, or maybe some other type of condition changed. So if you haven't been running any multi-point tests already, give it a shot. Uh, looking at that slope or pressure exponent can tell you a little bit more about what's going on in that building that you wouldn't know otherwise. Thank you guys for watching and join us here back again next week as we talk about another topic.